Welcome back to Dream Home Decorator. Today, we're gonna continue decorating dream homes, I guess. I don't know, I didn't really have anywhere to go with that sentence. But today, we still have aging off because you guys seem to agree that we should keep aging off for the active household. I have townies automatically aging and my played households do not automatically age. But you also did seem to agree that I should probably do some snapping out of existence for some of the older family generation. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably be in a video or something at some point. Now, how are my plants doing, by the way? That's all good, I can reset. Is this even planted? Oh, it is. It just hasn't grown yet. Uh, oh, yeah. So I didn't I didn't realize this, but when we added Hagrid to the family, which we did through creative sim and not actually adopting, which I wanted to adopt, but obviously there wasn't a child there. But what we're going to do is we're going to remove $2,000 because that was added when we added a sim to the household. When you add a pet, you get more money, if that makes sense. So like when you start the game, one sim, you get like, what, 16000 to start with or 16500 whatever it is. If you add more sims, you get a little bit more money. So apparently adding the dog, we got two grand. So I'm going to take that off. So we should only have 963 because I already spent that money like last time. And then the adoption fee for a dog was actually 200 bucks, I think. So maybe I'll take that off as well. Money 763. All right, there we go. All right, so that, I think we should be squared up with the, what we actually owed there. Now, do we have any food in here? I don't think so. Let's cook bean and cheese burrito. Sure. I don't know. She seems to really like beans and stuff. Oh, yeah. I didn't actually choose a gig, did I? Oh, I think it's also progressed maybe like a couple of weeks in the game. Because again, I did some recording for the three brothers stuff. Uh, I'm planning on doing a big renovation of their house. So stay tuned for that as well. But that required me progressing some time forward. Uh, obviously, we haven't missed out on anything here because we didn't take a gig last time and we had aging off. So we haven't actually missed anything. But if you're wondering why we're now in winter and it's Wednesday, that's why. <laughs> some time has progressed. Okay, so big wallet, fabulous living room again. I don't know about that. Wait, wait, what? Monet. Uh, hmm. What happens if I take this returning client? Is there another Monet in here? Because that's my name. Oh, nursery edition for the, the big wallets. Quite a few uh, commercial gigs now too, which is pretty exciting. Let's do, let's do the nursery edition. Now I know full well it'll probably glitch out and we'll have to use the cheat to uh, build, but that's okay. We'll, we'll work around that. Um, all right, so that is today. I was gonna say tomorrow, but no, it's later today. Okay, cool. All right, let's have some food. Get all our needs sorted out. Where's little Hagrid? How, how do we, how long until Hagrid ages? Also, where is, oh, you under the bed? Oh, <laughs> how do we know when you age up? Does it just happen? <laughs> yeah, run. Sweet. Hey man. Oh, oh, wake up. Okay, you've gone to sleep. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. The other thing is last time I said we don't have a desk, but we, we do we do have a desk that we were given for free that's sitting in my garage. So I totally forgot about that. My bad. Alrighty. Eat that bean and cheese burrito. Neato. Let's watch some TV. Let's watch some fireplace channel. Ah, nice and cozy. <laughs> Actually, speaking of nice and cozy, wouldn't it be isn't it cold? Do I have I have weather effects on for my Sims, right? So we got yeah, all that uh, temperature effects on Sims, yes. So I'm uh, yeah, so it would be cool. So maybe we should get a thermostat. Not that you actually need it, but I, I like the, the sort of gameplay with thermostats. Like if you have this, your bills can be more expensive if you have heating or cooling turned on. But it also, I think, makes your sim feel a bit more... I think you get a, like a positive mood load or something. Is that how that works? So if I go thermostat warmer cost more. So let's do that. Hang on. Go okay, turn on the thermostat. Because I mean, it's cold outside. It's cold. Now watch me always forget that this thermostat's on hot and then we'll have a heat wave in summer and I'll forget about it. <laughs> so don't worry about it. All right. Now, Hagrid... Uh, I feel like we we should spend some time with you. Oh wait, are you gonna go eat? No, oh, okay, never mind. No, you eat first, and I'll go to the toilet. Oh, okay, you finished eating. All right, I was gonna say I'll go to the toilet, then I'll ask you to go to the toilet. Yeah, you came all the way to. Oh, you want to play? Get a little ball icon. Oh, oh, there's a poo poo out there. <laughs> when, did, when did that happen? All right, you do a little wee wee. There we go. Just don't play in it. Praise. Finding a spot to go poo poo. Yep. <laughs> okay, it appeared over there somehow. Praise. Okay, surely you don't need to keep going. Are you done now? I I also gotta, I gotta clean up my bath here. Yay, good dog. Hug, pet, get to know, and talk to. Aww. <laughs> cute. All right, and then after we've done that, we should pro- Oh, alrighty. That was weird. Anyway, pick up that. Oh wait, no, don't pick up that. Pick up just puts it in your inventory. No, 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 throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. <laughs> throw it away. Oh, the puddle evaporator, that's good. It would be pretty smelly there though. All right, and then uh, how are these all going? These, oh yeah, it is. I, f I forgot about the fact that, yeah, plants need to be in season to grow and it's now winter. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't winter when I started this process. Like I said, we had a lot of time pass. I don't put these up here because then they should be sheltered. Now it does 
does block that bathroom window, but whatever. I'll leave these ones down here, but let's have a look. So these should now be counted as being sheltered. Yeah, so they should, even though they look a little sad, they should still grow and, and all that, which is good. Um, all right, I am a little tired. I do have work in a couple of hours, but this bed should be hopefully good enough because it's, is it fully, yeah, it's fully upgraded. So we should actually be able to get a really good nap in here. All right, time to go to work. Let's go. Oh, we're oh yeah. So I never actually finished this renovation. Hmm, see. Man, why are you going to do this dream home decorator? You're exposing my last series that I never co fully completed. Uh, we did that. We completed the lights. Why? I just did complete furnishing the house or building it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got the baby right. The baby is right here. Wait, so you do actually have a baby? Wait, whose baby is this? I don't remember this. Talk. Wait, let me. Who is this? Wait, Greta's dead now? Wait, when did Greta die? Column's still alive. Plantain's still alive. Apparently, Greta the clone died at some point. Oh, I guess because she ages up because. She was a clone and not one of, only my played Sims do not automatically age up. So anyone else is just going to age up and die. <laughs> oh no, she died. Okay, who is this baby? Oh, here we go. Oh, Reginald. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, who? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I got to whip out this family tree. All right, so here we are. Here is the most noble house of the big wallet family tree. Uh, this is made by Tony Chavez. He actually recently updated it a few days ago. I'll link it down below so you can check it out yourself. But if we follow this down, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. So we've got Plantain, which is here. Plantain, Greta, and Column. So we are currently renovating Column and Plantain's house. And so Column and Simeon, one, one of the, what, what are they called? The... Not shamans. I don't know, the, the magic people. Oh, sage. That's, yeah, it says right there. So, and one of the sages had Reginald and an unborn child. Wait, what happened? What did I do? And they also had an unborn child lost on a futile attempt to kill every sim in the game. <laughs> Man, I'm getting called out today. So again, if you want to check out that family tree in full, I'll link it down below. But okay, so this is Simeon and Colm's child. All right, well, first of all, let me friendly introduction. Hey guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa careful, she nearly slipped. I think it's a little icy out. Okay, okay what, what magic have you got going on right now? Uh, are you okay? Uh, is she on something? Should, <laughs> should we, oh my God. Should we maybe come back at, a, at another time? Um, oh yes. This is totally unrelated, but, and I don't even know how everyone feels about this, but I love the Glass Animals, the band, and they have like an in-game festival with Glass Animals being one of the headliners. So I'm super keen about that. Too bad I can't actually do a video on it because I'm sure it would get copyright claimed massively on YouTube. So anyway, that's cool, but we're not going to check it out, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if she's sound of mind right now. Oh, hello. Can you, wait, what? No, what? Canoe Reefs? But he's right here. It can't be. Oh, maybe maybe we cloned him and then, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure one of you guys will tell me what happened there. I don't remember. Look, the realm of magic let's play was all over the place, okay? Oh yeah, can I? I should probably knock on your door, hey? So I can actually see. Oh wait, I can't get to the door. There's a fence in the way. Oh wait, no, I go this way. No, there's a bin in the way. I can't go that way. Oh no. Oh wait, that's not the front door. Wait, where's the front? Oh, okay, that's their front door. <laughs> Super glitchy. Hello? Yeah. Oh, oh, the money trees. Yeah. Yeah, this is how they got all that money. I think we didn't we get like one of these and then I just cloned them. Is that how that worked? Okay. Anyway. Um. Oh, yeah. So here's the inside. <laughs> it's a cool looking house on the outside. Okay. But I just never did the rest of it. <laughs> oh, there's our one inside money tree. Wait a second. Is that a free money tree? Oh, my gosh. I could take that right now. Oh, my gosh. A dog. Ticket! Ticket is alive! Oh, so Ticket, oh yes! Oh, you poor thing, you need to be taken care of. So Ticket is the puppy or the, I guess, child of Mr. Chow Chow that we saw in a previous renovation and Scooby-Doo, which we also saw last episode. This is their child. Scooby-Doo cross Chow Chow. God, what is going on in this house? This house is a mess the way I left this. Anyway, let's get some, where are you? I need to get some preferences here. Oh, I don't even know you. Didn't, wait, how have we not met? Haven't we been talking the whole time? Okay, anyway, discuss designs, please. So what are we, I'm doing a nursery edition. Do, do you maybe want me to do the whole house? <laughs> do, you, do you maybe want me to like, <laughs> get to adding some other rooms? Okay, so we've got Suburban Contempo. Um, do you know what house you live in here? 
<laughs> See, gothic farmhouse would actually work here for once. And blue, okay. Well, this, I guess this, to be fair, this is for a, for a nursery, not the entire house. That's fine. Wait, why are we yelling at people? What's going on in here? Okay. Dislikes wellness and dislikes mid-century. All right. All right. I can work with that. I can work with that. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So yeah, you guys be on your way. Now. Oh, flower bunny. Now, can we, what can I, can I steal? That they don't really have anything. This is, this is the house. <laughs> this is their house. And a little basement room, great. Now, actually, this is an addition, right? So is this the one where it doesn't let me edit anything? Like it just kind of glitches out and you can't move any furniture and I can't put walls inside, which is kind of ridiculous because this house is empty. So really what the game is telling me to do is that like, it wants me to add a room outside somewhere and connect it. So like, it would want me to do something like this, I suppose. And be like, that's the nursery. Which look, I suppose I could do where, cause I mean, this is a wacky house anyway and it's empty. So, oh, you know what? We could probably put it in here. I go like this and then come along, right? And then in. So this could be our nursery. I mean, I don't mind that. After maybe, you know, I, I don't think I can fix the roof in this, this mode though, can I? I'd have to do it when I come back and visit again. I mean, I guess it's all right if I do. Oh, really? I can't join this? All right. Oh. We'll come back and do that at some point, maybe. Well, if we can, if we do a good job, maybe they'll give us repeat uh, customer and we can come back and work on that some more, you know? So yeah, I'm thinking we do that and then we open that up. We'll um, fix it up at some point. All right, so then the windows like this. Okay, that's just the outside. Now the inside, oh, it's actually, it's for nursery, not very big. Now, do we have, what is it? Suburban Contempo. <laughs> okay, that's the only door. I'm not using that, I'm sorry. So we'll forget it for the door. For the door, I will use probably like this. I quite like this door for uh, this house. Go dark in color. Oh, you know what I could do is if we do an archway to this, that can be part of the room. Oh, this is so cool. I haven't seen these before. Dang. I love the um the sort of shutters on this thing. Hang on, go the, face, the, face the other way so I can see them, please. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, yeah, so I'm thinking if we just do this and I could technically, I mean, I can't actually use that room because I don't think it will let me place anything in there. Can I move the baby? Oh, I can. Yeah, I can't actually put anything in there. So the baby actually has to go in this room, but like we can pretend that's part of it, you know? Okay, so blue, uh-oh. Oh gosh, every time it sort of, I'm just gonna hit save. Every time it sort of like lags and hitches, I'm always like, oh no. All right, blue, can we do blue floor? Or is that gonna be bad? This is a nursery keeping in mind. So we don't wanna do like stone or something. It should be like, could, I mean, it could be floorboards or maybe that's kind of pushing it. Maybe it should be the walls. Do something like this. Like, so we still have like the sort of old house kind of look with the, the wood paneling, but you still get the nice blue, you know? Maybe higher even, or maybe even this. No, I think that's pretty good. All right, suburban contemporary. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the floor, but what is this? style and blue light hang on let's go to night time okay we, we we have a few options here there's no i mean i guess i have to use these lights if i if i'm trying to use these lights you know which i guess is fine that, that works very blue look we made a mistake last time last time we made the mistake of assuming what they wanted instead of actually just looking at their likes. So today I'm gonna go hard on their likes. So, you know, they they said this is what they want. But this is what they're gonna get. So a nursery, maybe we could use, not like a huge wardrobe, but like one like this over here in this corner, maybe. Is there one that's, see, I would like the blue, but with darker wood, but I don't think that exists. So we might just have to, maybe just do that. All right, now actually the flooring, I think I won't do blue. Probably just do wood, to be honest. Oh, I actually really like that. Well, the paranormal floor is actually super nice for this. Maybe a bit lighter though. I feel like it suits the house, you know? No, the dark one's actually pretty good. At least for this house, you know? Such a small room. Oh, I didn't do any before photos. Ah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just take photos of something else. All right, Suburban Contempo. No filter. Let's just see what else we got. Not a whole lot. All right, let's get rid of the filter. Let's just do nursery stuff. Now I have a dog. Come in blue. No, that's fine. We'll go like that. Now, obviously, this is a baby in a crib, so we don't actually really need anything right now. But, you know, we'll stock up. Nice bookcase over there. Suburban Contempo. Doesn't particularly look like a comfy chair. But we'll go in blue. All right, blue rug. Oh, these are fun. Oh, this is kind of good because it's kind of like magic-y too. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Any suburban contempo paintings? There is, but they're all kind of not. I mean, I guess this is all right for it. Whoa. All right for a nursery. Oh, blue. <laughs> There's so much blue. Uh, over here on this wall, sure. There you go. How much? We got $194 left. Okay. Oh, we should get uh this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I can't not have that over the crib. Wait, what? I can't. Oh, the lights in the way, right? Make it more blue. And then finally, uh, 134. Um, well, the bears are only 75. My question is, can we? Can my Sims even get up here? Like, can they even? I don't think they can get to the door. <laughs> So how they can, I need you, cause this isn't even functional. I'm a, I'll have to do bb.freebuild in a second, but let me finish this. Toy chest. I think the toy chests are all too expensive. Uh, since you Suburban Contempo and Blue, it's the only thing I can afford in it. So I have what, 134. 
Anything useful that I could put in? 135? One dollar more? Really? Come on. What about a plant? 120. Yeah, put that one up there. 105. There you go. Beautiful. All right, so now get out of nighttime, first of all. Um, I need to go uh, back to live mode. I'll do the photos in a second as well. BB.enable rebuild. Because if I don't do this, we won't even be able to like look at this area. So let me fix these stairs. There we go. Uh, that's still there, which is not ideal. Okay, there we go. Uh, extend the floor as well to there. I'm gonna get the same railing there. I don't know. I guess I just never really finished this build. So <laughs> it's kind of in a state. Okay, they can get up there now. That's fine. Oh, there's no way to get upstairs though. Oh, we got these stairs, but not. <laughs> okay, hang on. How do I there? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we had we had these originally. You can see where the house used to be, and I just expanded it. Now I will not touch anything else. Because if we can come back here again and do more renovations, that'll be fun. <laughs> That's the hole in the floor, by the way that I had to do because the tree was too tall. So there's like a smidge little hole there for it to grow through. All right, so I'm gonna say interior decorator, take the floor photo. I don't know, I'll just, maybe just a blank walls or something, I don't know. At least you can get up there, which is good. So I'm gonna say like before photo will be just be out here, you know, like this, this blank wall before, and then the walk through the door and you'll be like, this is the, where's the baby, baby? Oh, it makes all the Sims disappear when you go to camera mode. So it is there, you just can't see it. And then you sort of walk through the door, and it's like after. You know, and before will be like this wall and then after will be this angle. And then before can be, I don't know, this wall. Oh, wait, how many? Oh, I was taking, I was taking the after. Have I, how many parts am I on now? What, why did I just do that? But anyway, that was the idea. I think we only need three anyway, don't we? Yeah, we only need three. Okay, take after photo. Okay, now I do the same thing again, but don't take the before photos at the same time. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so yeah, I need one here. So just as you come through the door like this, yes. And then I had one that was like here, but like that angle. And then I was gonna do one like this. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. All righty, so let's go call clients to lot. So before, <laughs> these stupid photos, before, after, before, after, before, after. It doesn't look the best. I mean, to be honest, but I did, you know, I did the blue, I did the suburban contempo. I didn't do anything wellness and I didn't do any mid-century. I don't think I did any, I don't think there's any, no, that's not, none of that's mid-century, that's fine. So it's looking pretty good. Hopefully they like it and we can come back and renovate the rest of the house because that'd be nice to, complete this house finally after <laughs> after a while all righty guys uh no 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 okay we're gonna go this way right i think we all like meet at the door i don't know why canoe reefs is tomb is there either guys don't ask okay i'm gonna come down this way she's like look i fixed your stairs how about that guys it's pretty cool this way come on up okay cover your eyes and let's walk up three flights of stairs no 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 no, no keep oh no didn't work Oh, we got paid. That's that's a bonus. All right, here we go. So here's before. Oh, just a wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, before. Oh, yeah, there's actually a room now. Look at that. that that's really good. Oh, okay, so before. It's a very dark. Whoa, that's bright. That is so colorful. So blue. That is, that is probably the best nursery edition I've seen. Needed so few cheats to make that happen as well. Pretty incredible. All right, let's go home. <laughs> See you guys later. Now, there has been a lot of suggestions that I should go around the world, and I agree with this, go around the world and add like to the household names, like Big Wallet something. So I know exactly which Big Wallet is what, which is a great idea. And I think I will do that. Maybe I'll do that between at this part and the next part. Um, Cause then when we take a new gig in here, it'll be like Big Wallet, whoever this, cause I don't know who this is. Like, we don't know which one that is. There's a lot of big wallets in the world, but we have $1,500. We've got ticket, not ticket. Oh, that's the last dog. Poor ticket. I hope he's okay. We got Hagrid. Uh, let's go here. We, I, I know we haven't walked Hagrid yet, but I mean, he's still a puppy. You can't, I, can you even walk them as puppies? Oh, I got mail. Like I didn't, can you? I don't think you can. Wait, where is Hagrid? Hagrid? Oh, there you are. Hey man. Um, Pet, I'm home. I'm home. Uh, also talk to you. <laughs> And also talk to you. Okay, so, oh, I didn't steal anything. Oh, I'll put a painting up. I never remember to do that. There's also been petitions for me to just take selfies of, of Hazel and put them on the walls, which is also a great idea. Uh, okay, well, I forgot to do any of that. So, well, let's select the gig for tomorrow. In-law unit edition. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Level renovation for 14,000. Got another big wallet kitchen level renovation. Our kitchen is grossly outdated. I don't want to take any, I do want to do the big wallet ones. I definitely want to do more of them, but I think I want to add everyone's name in so we can see. All right, so I actually did just go around and do that because I figured let's see if it works now. Ah, yeah, so now we can see. So big wallet E 
eco lifestyle. So that is the shipping container home, which we've already done a renovation on the living room area. That was the Batu renovation we did. Oh, and so this is Bob and Trash that we tried to, well, they want another room addition. Guys, there's, we actually can't, add rooms on that lot so no there's another university one there so th that's the same household they want to they still want the photography studio which we tried but it doesn't work all right and then eco lifestyle they also have more oh this is the mansion that we ruined last time <laughs> So they actually want hobby room edition, walking closet editions. Interesting. Library renovation. I don't know why the big wallet university household is doing that, but that's interesting. Kitchen level renovation in the Seasons Mansion. Again, I think they don't like what I did, what I did last time. I'm, I'm honestly surprised they want to pay me to come back. Oh, and another one. They got a lot in here. Living room and kitchen renovation. And that's it. Okay, so now we know who's who. But I think maybe we should go Vitor. I wonder if that's not... Lilith, what's her brother's name? I wonder if that's their house there. The goth house? Let's do the goth house next. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. All righty, buddy. I'm going to give you a treat because you're a good boy. I'm going to praise you. I'm going to pet you. I'm going to hug you. And then I'm going to give you a bath because <laughs> you might stink. How are my plants going? Do I need to water these? Are we good? I think they're all good. Yeah. And I don't think these are growing. Yeah. They're now out of season, which is a shame. That's okay. I give little, little, uh, Hagrid a bath. I need to call him ticket. I'm calling my dog ticket now, apparently. All right. So we got, well, we got $1,000. Let's have a look. Maybe. Maybe we can, um, let's maybe do a paint job because this place looks horrendous. <laughs> let's, let's get a new coat of paint on this place. So the kitchen, I wouldn't mind like a nice, Oh, I like those tiles. Moroccan sort of themed tiles. Oh, what color do we go? Blue. I probably want a white wall above it. So either those maybe or the. A quart. Is that too much though? I'm going to keep those wooden boards there. Actually, you know what? No, let's not do tiles. Because again, I think because we're still planning on moving the kitchen. Okay, maybe not tiles. Because tiles, you'd put it like somewhere where you actually going to have the kitchen. I guess you could do these ones. Because I'm just thinking, because if she's moving her kitchen to this room at some point when we have more money then she might not want to put up like more permanent sort of things in the kitchen. So maybe just a wallpaper, maybe some nice skirting boards or something. What about this? Oh, this is kind of a nice sort of muted blue. I like how painting actually saves money. I don't really like that. I kind of, I kind of feel like maybe we need to set our own values for things because I feel like because this is a dream home decor, it's all about renovating. I feel like it should be costing me money to do this renovation to my own house. But I don't know what you guys think about that. Like maybe like we could set painting to be like, I don't know, 200, like not much, but something. I don't know. Anyway, about uh, in here, I kind of want to, hmm, kind of, kind of interesting. Maybe like that kind of color. I don't mind. Oh, wait, the couch. Hang on. Wait, undo that. <laughs> oh, wait, I maybe should not clash with the couch too much here. Go brownie, but then the floors are brown, you know? Maybe it should just be gray in this room. It's a bit boring, and I do that a lot, but... And you guys did actually seem to like the yellow chair with the uh, with the couch, which is kind of fun. I don't mind it. Uh, I kind of want to move dog bed or something. I don't know. Actually, what do I have in my inventory? Oh, shoes and... Oh, my Sim Session ticket! Yeah! For the first of all to see glass animals. Can this go anywhere? What is this? Oh, it goes on the wall? Wait, what? I thought it was a ticket. Why is it? Hello? A ticket to the exclusive Sim Sessions Festival. Music festival. Get on ticket. Oh, get. <laughs> Click on ticket for more information. Once it's placed on a wall. But, oh, why on a wall? It's so bizarre. Is that, is that, am I out of touch? Are tickets now like a wall object in real life? Is, is this what people do with their tickets to events? <laughs> why do my shoes come out of that i don't i don't like that they popped out of there oh well, i'll keep them in there for now anyway whatever so that's that um yes basement that's actually what i want to do so i'm thinking yeah so a lot of you guys are su suggesting at the time for the basement we could have exterior stairs somewhere that's a kind of like a cellar entrance which i think makes a lot of sense and i think we'd probably do it around the back i'm thinking maybe here on the side so what if we did something like this here we do the basement pretty much under the footprint of the house i don't think it should extend more than the house okay this is already too expensive so maybe we do now i know it's also not entirely realistic to be just adding a partial basement but i kind of want to just have this process started so now that we have the basement there and also you know spends our money and then we'll put the stairs here somewhere, which obviously we can't afford right now, but that would go like there, for example, and that should fit in there. And then we'd probably put like some sort of roof or something over it. I don't know. But yeah, we'd have them there, like little cellar, cellar door stairs. Or we have it open and then just have a door to the basement down the bottom. Maybe that makes more sense. Something like that. But yeah, so we'll expand down to the basement. Now, the thing is in the basement, we could add window wells just to get some light and have the windows down there, which would be really nice because otherwise it's just very dark and I don't really want to put like more bed 
bedrooms uh, where there's no window. So maybe we add some like window wells or something around the house. I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with that. But obviously for right now, we don't have any money. But that's nice. We got some freshly painted walls here. We didn't do the bedroom or the bathroom, but that's okay. I think these are looking a little bit nicer. The flooring is obviously still the old flooring, which is fine, you know. We're working towards all this stuff. It's a process. It's a process. Uh, now, lecture about drinking from a puddle. Please don't. Because sometimes puddles can be your own urine. And I'd rather you not do that. And now I'm going to hug you. Because you're a good boy. And then I'm going to say, what's wrong? And then I'm going to say, give a treat. <laughs> don't drink from the puddle. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Here's a treat. <laughs> yes, that's exactly in those motions. All right. And then I'm going to use a toilet. No, no. What? That's so rude. You're like, get out of here. I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> you just... No, no, no. No, stop playing in the puddle. Hang on. <laughs> he's stubborn, so he's really not learning. All right. Also, wash your hands. So do you realize you didn't wash your hands? Okay, now you're playing in the puddle again. What are you doing? Stop. No playing in puddles. Oh, you learned. There you go. Has learned not to play in puddles. Yay. Good boy. Give you a treat. Oh, I have like no money left to give treats, but I'll do it anyway. Here you go. <sighs> well, I'm getting so many club invitations. No, no, no. I feel like I'm already in. Aren't I in two clubs? <laughs> the other club only has one person because everybody else died. It's actually really funny when i go around to houses now you'll often see tombstones because everyone's just aging up and dying i don't know how funny that is but anyway i'm gonna leave this part here of dream home decorator so we'll be back next time with the goth house renovation of the living room so that should be fun and then hopefully we get some more big wallet renovations i want to i want to go back to the, <laughs> the realm of magic house because if we can slowly renovate that and actually complete it through the let's play that'd be pretty fun and i'm actually really excited to get like a basement on this house and also renovate the upstairs i don't know maybe we should do the upstairs renovation before i do more basement i didn't really think about that uh let me know in the comments down below but thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time and have an awesome day